We begin here with an update on the wrong way crash that left a motorcyclist and popular band member dead earlier this month. 30 year old Sarah Haas was charged with intoxication manslaughter after driving the wrong way down the feeder road toward Waldron and Flower Bluff, going through the intersection and killing 54 year old Tim Barrera, who was stopped at that light. Haas appearing in court today. Our Lexus Green joins us in studio with the latest there. Lexus. Thanks, Leslie. It's been nearly two weeks since that tragic accident in Flower Bluff. Today, Haas made her first appearance in court after having bonded out the very next day of the crash. Haas appeared in front of Judge Missy Maderi with her lawyer present. Judge Maderi read aloud a list of additional conditions in order for Haas to stay on good bond. Because Haas does not have a vehicle, Judge Maderi ordered for a portable scram device, which works as a breathalyzer you wear on your person. Haas is also to report as needed, not commit any new offenses, not operate a motor vehicle, and no consumption of alcohol under these new conditions. So there are reasons that you are here today. You have already made your bail. Your bail was uh, set by the CDC. Uh, those were not my conditions, so my conditions are a little bit more stringent than, um, than theirs. I've given what I want on your conditions, and there are many that you have to do. Judge Madari's closing statements, a warning that she does not take lightly to those who break her conditions. As we reported, Haas could face between two and 20 years in prison for her second degree felony charge if convicted and a fine up to $10,000. We will continue to follow along in this case. Leslie, Mike. All right, thank you for that, Lexus. We go now to Grove.